this podcast. We still like sports. This is episode 17, right? I think. Am I right? Come on, Phyllis, help me out. Don't it's leave me out there hanging. Okay. Week 17, yes. We recap week 16 and pick week 17, yes. Y'all out there leaving me hanging on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm heavy, but help pull me up, man. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead, man, and get into it. I know that we are getting close to the college playoffs, football playoffs. Finally. Finally. Why does it take so long for that game, the first games to happen. Like, what's the deal with that? Do you, do you know, Dwayne? I, I I can only assume is that you want to give them time for hit injuries, so your team could be as full strength as possible. <laughs> that's that's my guess, or it's just I I don't know because it just it just seems so long. It's been a month. Yeah, it's been almost a month. We for, we almost forgot. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I like that noble answer, though. That was a very noble <laughs> answer. Um, what, here's my th- money. Here's my theory. Here's my theory. money. <laughs> They're waiting for uh, for grown people who are adulting like us, uh, uh-huh. where at this particular time of year, we take time off. We'll take vacation uh, for that two weeks in between Christmas and New Year's. And the more <laughs> people on vacation at that particular time, the more eyes they have on the product. Therefore, more advertising revenue and ad revenue. I just said the same thing that was uh, redundant, but you get my drift. I don't think uh, the NCAA and the uh, um, the, the schools and the, uh, the broadcasting companies are uh, that noble. Uh, oh, we're going to give the players a, a month off so they can get ready uh, to play these football games. Want to make certain both sides are healthy? It's like no. Want to make certain <laughs> that there's enough butts in the seats and in the couch, in the stadium, uh, to get eyes on our product. And um, more eyes means more money. There you you're go. right, because right, the, the, the kids are out of school for two weeks around right now. So Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that makes a lot of sense, and I think that's more than likely what it is, um, the money thing. And, uh, hey, I'm just going to say it. We got a COVID problem. The uh, the Holiday yeah. Bowl has yeah. been canceled yeah. between uh, UCLA and North Carolina State Wolfpack, um, which is due to some COVID-19 issues with the Bruins, UCLA. So that bowl game was canceled um, just a couple hours as we record this on a Tuesday. Uh, it was just the decision was just announced at 3.30 p.m., Eastern time today. That that bowl game. Okay, I got a question. Yeah. I got a question for you guys. Now, last year, COVID did not impact the games as much as it's doing this year. Now, is it the fact that we outside? Because and we outside because we got a vaccine now and people are just a little bit more I I don't want to use the word reckless, but like we we outside. Yeah. Because last year, this was not going on. Like, I'll use it if you um, don't. Reckless. Go ahead. <laughs> it is like reckless. No, no team last year was affected by COVID. Like uh, the, the, the Chargers had a bunch of people missing. Washington had 21 people missing. And they're continuing to play the games, but there wasn't this huge impact on the games last year by COVID. You know what I mean? Right. Well, again, no one, has, no one was out. Different. Yeah. No one was out like this. Um, You have people that are vaccinated that, hey, I'm vaccinated, so I'm in the clear. And that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? That is not the case. Mm -hmm. And these new variants are coming and uh, people are being reckless. And so last year, that wasn't the case. Everybody had to follow protocol. Um, Were there people at the games last year during the bowl games? There, no, no, if they were, no. they were like at 25% capacity, especially the national championship game. I think once again, it was at 25% capacity in Miami. Also, also, the NFL didn't have 
a full stadium until the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and that's when we already had a vaccine. Uh, other that wasn't stadiums, a full stadium. And there you go. It wasn't even full then. No, but most of the year last cut out. Right. Most of the year last year, stadiums weren't weren't housing people. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, again, there you go. You, you've got full stadiums at full capacity with the variants popping up and people are, everything's wide open, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, hey, we're going to give you an example, though. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Especially with, the, with the, um, the vaccine and people, um, like, all right, well, I'm, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need to wear a mask. Uh, my neighbor. I was talking to him a, a few weeks ago, and he's like, yeah, my family's all vaccinated, but I just go out with no mask. And I saw him at a Publix um, that we both frequent. This is right around the corner. Um, <laughs> I got my mask on, even though I voiced to him, yeah, I'm, I'm vaccinated, but still, mm -hmm. I can still get it. I just right. don't have adverse effects to the the virus if I happen to get it because I'm vaccinated. Basically, I won't be on my deathbed or uh, or have little to no symptoms, hopefully. But that doesn't mean I'm going to roll the dice. And I think that's just the mindset. Oh, I'm vaccinated. Who needs a mask? Let me just go out there and, and, and roll the dice. I should be okay. So that's exactly what's taking place. And then you got the, the new variant, Omicron, which is not as deadly, um, but is prolific at spreading. It, it, it's more... Um, prolific at spreading the virus uh, than the Delta variant, which is more deadly. The goal is not to get this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the goal is to so, show you backed up and you mask That's up. That's common sense, the, but it's yeah. not common for everybody, Dwayne. The goal is not to get Dwayne. this shit, it's man. Not... Yeah, it isn't. It isn't. It, 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 it's quite intuitive to you, me, and, 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 and Keith here, uh, but to other people, it's all right. Well, I got I got vaccinated, so I'm cured, right? I, I'm 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 completely absolved and isolated from ever getting this virus, and that's not the case. Yeah. And if any, in, in, in lots of cases, people who do have the uh, uh, vaccine, the vaccine are the ones spreading it now. So, but that's a story for another day. Sure is. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go well, ahead and get into these like, picks, man. Yeah. Let, let's. We, we we know. I know we talked about it earlier. I know that we said that we. We we pretty much had it set in stone, but I want to know: Are we still sticking with the picks that we had for the for the two games, and who's meeting in the finals? We've got UGA at Michigan. That's the night game, actually, on Friday, and then we've got well, not at Michigan. I'm sorry, <laughs> um, Michigan is. I'm sorry, uh, Michigan is the higher seed, and then we've got Cincinnati against Alabama, and that's the afternoon game on Friday. Uh, so. Are the picks still the same? Are we still going Alabama? I thought we said, did we say Alabama, Michigan, or did we say Alabama, Georgia? I think I what Alabama the problem Michigan. was, I think what the problem was, we 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 think there's, we think things and we want things. Mm -hmm. So we think we think Bama's going to beat Cincinnati, of course, right? And we think Georgia is going to beat Michigan. But what do we actually want? I want Bama and Michigan. Do we want I want Bama and Michigan because I don't want to see that again. You don't want to see Bama. And I think that's what we, we had came to a conclusion. We want to see Bama versus Michigan, not Bama, Georgia again. But we we, we think Bama's good, Bama, Georgia is going to happen, but we want Bama, Michigan. Yeah. That's what right. I think right. came down to. You're right. You're right. So, right. Cause you're right. Y'all right. No, nobody wants to see Bama, Georgia again. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. I mean – Honestly, I tell you what, if that happens, I I, I mean, hey, the well, results I, may be different. They they may be different. And you said but, that before, Dwayne, a long time ago. Right, but I rem but I remember we also said Michigan is the one who has to make this happen. Yeah. You know, yeah. Michigan has to be the one to make this happen. And are they a favorite? I don't think they're a favorite. Um it doesn't matter at this point anyway, but as of know, right the one now. Who, let me see here. Who could give us what we want? But then, okay, so after that, if we get Michigan Bama, does Bama Molly Watt Michigan? Uh, I don't think too they, soon for that one. I don't, I don't think, think they, it's a cake. I don't think it's a cake. Well, yeah, I'm with y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm with y'all. Yeah, I don't really think so. 
I don't think it's the case. Well, I think it'll be hotly contested. Um, I'm certain Bama will figure out Michigan at some point because Michigan's going to want to run the football, and they know that they don't have the best quarterback on the field. Uh, I think as a four-person uh, uh, format, or four-team format, rather, um, Bama has the best quarterback of all um, colleges in the playoffs. So um, if they can establish the run, which Michigan is prolific at doing, and um, mm-hmm. that's what they want to do, uh, mm-hmm. then once again it'll be uh, it'll keep Georgia off the field. <laughs> Or I think in this particular case, I'm, I'm assuming if we're talking about the national championship game, we'll keep Alabama off the field. That's what they're going to want. They want to keep Mr. Young off the field. Right. Um, I, I do believe um, and Bama has the advantage just just based alone off of the, the quarterback play. They got the best quarterback mm-hmm. right now. And everything but else will fall into play. We are getting ahead of ourselves with that game. We right? truly are. Uh, you got December the thirty first. Here's my question: How many, how many um, trick plays is Cincinnati gonna run to try to beat them? <laughs> man, they gonna pull out everything out the bag to try to jump on Bama, man. Can you blame them? You know, no, I can't. And and they're they're representing much more than themselves. All right. You know, they're the, they're the little guy. That's right. That's right. You know, so they got, uh, they're the they pseudo have little a, guy. They're going to the Big 12 in two years, though. They're the pseudo little okay. guy. Right okay. Okay. Well, they got to they gotta represent, you know. So, so as of it. right now, we have um, Alabama 13 and a half they're giving and Georgia 7 and a half. Georgia's at 7 and a half? Seven and a half. As of right I now, I thought the line would have been at least three and a half. That's what I was thinking when yeah, I clicked. I, <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, it's going to be three and a half." No, as of right now. But again, wow. that could change. I mean, hell, as, as the way things are going right now, there may not even be a line come Friday. There may not even be a game. Well, <laughs> gonna be a good well if enough was, of them catch it, was, it, I think it was Bama's team said they're all going to get boosters together. Yeah. Which we know you can still have the booster. If you're not doing the, 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 taking the precautionary steps to not go anywhere, it it don't, it don't, it don't matter how many immunizations you get. If you're still running around as a college kid, going to bars and whatever, you know, you're putting yourself in danger, but I don't think they're doing stuff like that. I think Nick probably has his whole team uh, isolated from yeah, he corn, quarantined up. <laughs> nah, he, yeah, he's he's not playing them reindeer games. Yeah, right. Uh, and the NBA's in a hell of a lot of trouble too. I mean, we won't have to get into that, but shit, every yeah, it's a lot. So, bro, COVID bro. is in the building. It never <laughs> left. <laughs> It never went anywhere. It never went anywhere. Just checking up on you guys to make certain you're on your toes. Hey, <laughs> it's seeing that you're on vacation and it's saying, "Hey, <laughs> let me let me get back on my job." Hey, you want you want a plus one, a plus two? <laughs> um, and the vaccine, the vaccine just gives people a false sense of security. Like, no, put your mask back on. Stay your ass at home yeah, if you yeah. got something important. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Oh well, we'll see if the game goes off. Like you said, go ahead, man. Now, before we hit to the NFL games real quick, um, just want to give you guys a couple of updates as of, again, Tuesday. I'm sure when this drops on Thursday, there'll be bigger news. Uh, Bruce Arians, the Bucks, Buccaneers oh, head coach, he's in isolation after positive COVID test. That's as of Tuesday, today. Um, <laughs> uh, the Eagles... They're separating their quarterbacks to protect against COVID, which is smart. <laughs> I'm not sorry. funny. I'm sorry. This is not funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should not be laughing. I'm sorry. People are dying. They got, they got, they got, a, they got a, yeah, they yeah. got a shot at the playoffs. They got a shot at the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't blame them for that. I don't, I don't blame them. Um, what a world. The, uh, um, the, <laughs> the Colts have put their unvaccinated quarterback Carson Wentz on COVID list. Oh, 
Um, unvaccinated? So he, unvaccinated. Right. Well, no, no disparaging here. No disparaging no. here. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a choice. It should be a choice. Well, that, well, that was what they led the with right in the high, in, in the in the headlines. Unvaccinated. <laughs> it he's doesn't matter doing, at this point. He's been he's been doing the right things though, because mm-hmm. he hasn't gotten fined. He's been wearing his mask, doing what he's supposed to be. Now Cole Beasley, he's gotten fined a lot because he ain't vaccinated and he ain't wearing no mask where he's supposed to wear his mask. Yeah, man, he's not lying. Like a, a certain quarterback, we know that lied. He did a whole lot of stuff in the offseason, too, in reference to misinformation regarding the Cole Beasley, right? Yeah, Cole Beasley, yeah. Yeah. And he, and he, 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 cue up the clown music on some of the stuff that he said, too. Uh Yeah, because he, he, he's sticking to his guns, too. That's why he, he, I think the number I saw was over 100,000 already. He's gotten fined by the NFL. He's still not listening. He's still not listening. Must be investing his money pretty good. Um, and then I also his opinion is his right to an opinion, but you know, actions have consequences. Too. Yes, they do. Most definitely. Yeah. And uh, finally, before we move on to the games, uh, the NFL, and this is again, speculation. It hasn't been confirmed. The NFL and the union want to cut the virus isolation to five days. So the more positive, the less time it'll be isolated. So, uh, well, I think that's what the, what's been suggested by the CDC too. Yeah, five yeah, days. Yeah, so. I think everybody, of course, should play it by ear. See how they're playing, and I mean, see how they're feeling. I don't think anybody should just say, "Hey, I'm good to go." No, baby, if you're still testing positive, you need to chill. Um, mm-hmm. But we'll see how that all goes. But anyways, let's jump into the NFL. <laughs> let's get this thing going with our picks from last week. I was about to um, send a text to both of you saying I'm puffing my chest out, but um, things didn't go exactly the way I planned. So, uh, Dwayne, lead us through that. My head hurts, man. <laughs> Your head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that COVID stuff is so depressing. <sighs> but, okay, so – we had Ron. You had three wins. I had three wins. John, you I had. I thought two. I was going to get four. I came to the conclusion: if we should put a name on this show, is that we got trust issues. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's 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 a play on the trust issue word, but we trust yeah. people we shouldn't trust. Yeah, still. yeah. You know, we jump into it here. The first game we had was Niners at Titans. Ron, you got that one right. You picked the Titans. Mm-hmm. Um, the Titans are still winning games. I don't know how. They started off, they didn't score in the first half. They came back and won this game. It's crazy. It's, so it's is the, Thursday, did the Titans win this ago. game or did the 49ers lose this game? Jimmy G lost the game. game but that's Jimmy G made it happen. Jimmy, made Jimmy it happen. G, he made it happen for you, Ron. <laughs> he made it happen for you, bro. Hmm. <laughs> The Titans, the Titans are still winning games. They can still run the ball. Um, they're still in playoff hunt. They're they're probably they won top be. two seed in the AFC. Yeah, yeah it's, crazy. it's crazy how much it's crazy how much games they've won since Derrick Henry got hurt. Yeah, man. everybody was good, including us. We were like, we're, yeah, they're gonna win a couple, but then you know, yeah, we wrote them off. We wrote them. I, I thought yeah. they were gonna win this game because they they have a pretty good. Um, they have a pretty good uh, home record, and um, I knew that mm-hmm. 49ers have been, you know, they've been off and on. And one week they're on, one week they're off, so I, I, I couldn't hedge my bet mm-hmm. on that. So, yeah. Well, the Titans, if Derrick Henry comes back, they're going to be a problem for somebody. Yeah. They, probably the Chiefs. Um, <laughs> all right, the next game, you, you anything else on that game, or you want to move forward? No, I just want to move forward. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one was Colts at Cardinals. Giants at Cardinals. This one. <laughs> Me and Ryan got this one right. <laughs> this was 22 to 16. Listen. The Cardinals are falling apart. Yeah, man. This has been an like interesting that. study because they came out the gate swinging, boy. And just all of a sudden in these past, what, what do you would say, last four weeks? They've been falling well, apart. They the, remember, they were the last unbeaten team, and then 
Yeah. They went and lost to Aaron on that primetime game. Remember that one? That was their first loss. Yeah. And it seems like from then, it's been downhill. Now, they won a couple games when Kyler Murray was hurt. But it just it just, just hasn't been right. And then the Colts, they could run the ball well. And Carson didn't do anything to screw it up. Remember you made me go ahead and not even put that in the universe last week? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> so he kept, he kept it together. He didn't even play really well. Didn't throw for a bunch of yards. Right. He didn't throw for a bunch of yards Mm -hmm. or anything, but what he didn't do is turn the ball over. Yeah. So. And you didn't have Jonathan Taylor in your back pocket, too. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. He he covers up a lot of his uh, his flaws Mm -hmm. uh, in the passing game. Uh, Carson Lentz and and a lot of instances, it's kind of like Brett Park. He can't help himself. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, it's always good to have that equalizer in the backfield to um, not make your uh, make a mind numbing decision. But oh, I just can hand it off to this guy. So, <laughs> so easy. Yeah. I didn't have to pass but, on this play. Okay, great. Ten, fifteen yards. <laughs> Wonderful. Down and yeah. What's that when you have Jonathan Taylor in your back? Yeah. 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 But they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be an interesting out in the playoffs. Because Jonathan Taylor is going to be a problem, but like I said, Carson Wentz could screw it up at any moment. If you got like a third and seven, and you got to throw it next to you, know he's throwing it to the other team. You know what I mean? Well, but he may not be playing. After he right. tended to play about another two or three seconds longer than it needed to be. It's like, all right, right. Take the sack on this one or he, sit down. He, hero ball champ right there. Yeah. All right, game three. Ryan, you got this one wrong, and this is where the trust issues start to come in. Yeah. Like, you trust the Ravens, and you're not supposed to trust the Ravens at this point. But you're Ravens not supposed to trust it. trust the Bengals at this point either. But <laughs> we also remember yeah. that's a good so point. Thorough. That is a good point. Yeah. But remember the flat when we started trusting the Bengals was when they beat down the Ravens the first time. That's true. That's true. You know, I just didn't think lightning would strike twice. This game I did not expect this game to go this way either. I don't think Joe did either. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Joe was on but fire. Put, fire. You know, but there was some comments early in the week about him not getting a gold jacket by the defensive coordinator and whatnot. So he kind of took it personal. But the, the, the Ravens are falling apart. Injuries, COVID, yeah. Yeah. you know, but you still trust in them. And it's hard not to trust in them because they still probably going to make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. The, the uh, division's still up for grabs. Listen. Steelers can still win it. Browns can still win it. It's weird. I, <laughs> Joe Burrow. I mean, what what happened? Did this guy eat his Wheaties? Or? Some blocking this week. For 500, 525 yards? Damn. 37 or 46. He completed over 70 percent Yes. This is my problem with this team. Their high is this. This is their high. This is their ceiling. Bad as hell. Put up points on you. But their floor is losing to the Jets. Which <laughs> they have they did this season. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I have a problem with this team, man. Yeah. And it's going to come up again because they're playing the Chiefs next week and we're picking that game. Mm. The Chiefs is coming yes, to town. You know what I mean? So we gonna we if we gonna have trust issues again, man. Yeah, you know, but I finally I don't, I don't pick know what the to Chiefs. Do, with that one. <laughs> do you finally pick the Chiefs? But the Chiefs, I think the Chiefs are gonna be on the road to Cincinnati, so we'll see. Okay. Okay. We'll put you in a bind there. Put you in a bind there. But Burrow right, was on fire, one, bro. He was on fire. He man. was on fire. He was yeah, on fire. Yeah. So it was T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. Woo. Joe Mixon had a good all purpose yards game. 70, pa- 70 yards passing, 65 yards rushing. Jeez. Two touchdowns, passing and receiving. Man. The thing, yeah. the thing is it too, all these dudes are under 25. Damn. Wow. All of them. Wow. So they're going to be a problem going forward in that division. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If they, if they, they can keep them all together. Consistent. Yeah. Right. Keep them together. Keep them all. Keep, 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 sure, keep, that keep, offensive keep, line, though. 
Yeah, so that he don't get the train ran on on him. There you go. That's him. right. With two you know, <laughs> hands on, on the shoulders. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you see what you see, you see, you see what was possible when he's protected, you know. Yeah. So you got to take care of this dude, man. Uh, <laughs> and we, we, and and it's going that that's going to come up in our next game. So the next game was uh, Bills at Patriots. Again, trust issues. Mm. There's no way me and John should have picked the Patriots, but we trust them because I, I believe in desperation. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the Bills are the most desperate team when it comes to those two. And I believe in Josh Allen. Their, right. They've been getting their tails kicked by the Patriots for two, for 20 years. Yeah. And this is the time to get it back. You know what I mean? Tom ain't there. They got a rookie quarterback who's going to get better. So if you're going to get him, this is the time to get him. Mm-hmm. You know, and like you said, you believe in Josh Allen. And he, he played his ass off, man. Yeah, he did. He really did. He had a great game. He he converted a lot of fourth downs um, in, in this particular game that kept those drives going. Yeah. Even some in the, in the red zone. Even some in their own red zone. Just mm-hmm. this analytical football is just beyond me. But, um, <laughs> but when you got a guy like Josh Allen, I guess you can just throw lo- all logic out the window. Because mm-hmm. he's just... Um, he has a howitzer for an arm, and he's, he's fast. big. He's, he's big, big and man. big and fast for his he, size. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He, he, is. he reminds me a lot of Cam Newton, good oh, Cam Newton, man. but with better a better arm. But my problem with that is he's not going to see a third contract because he takes off running and he throws himself, and he, he dies. He dies. He throws himself on the shield. You know what I mean? No so Cam. I hope he does. I hope he learns to like slide or, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but I just, think he'll learn. I, I think he's bit. still young though. He's still young. He is. Uh, he is still I young. Think, yes. I think somebody will sit him down like, Hey, if you want to prolong your career, you might want to learn to do it from the pocket. Only do what you need to do it. And you I know? think he's, I think he's doing a better job of that. I, I, I believe he is. Oh, Cam. I don't, want, I don't even want to talk about that. I can't, I can't even. I don't even have the energy to talk about it, man. I be, I be. But I'll send you, I'll send you a basket of roses. Please do. And here, here's the other problem with uh, where's the replay at? <laughs> Hopefully not in Carolina. Ah, oh, man. Mac Jones is not going to win your shootout. He's not ready yet. Mm. 14 of 30, 245 yards, two interceptions. So does, is, is, um, what's the coordinator name? Um, God, I, Josh McDaniels. McDaniels, yes. Does he, is he aware of that? Yes, he is. That's why in the first game, he only had him throw three times. Mm. Gets the bill. And they were able to establish the line of scrimmage and run it down their throats in the first game. But this is a tale of, Two games and any given Sunday. That's what, uh, and that's what I was saying. They I mean, coordinators too, and they can make adjustments too. Yeah, you know? I was wondering if maybe they they're gaining com- they were gaining confidence in them, and you know, because that happens. Well, all getting cold, time. man. Cold, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's what you're saying. I don't think I don't think this guy is, is used to uh, uh, December football in no. New England. No, and the, and the yeah. frozen vortex up there. So, and yeah. mm. Josh Allen just looks like he's built for it. I mean, he he looks like uh, <laughs> like Ben Roethlisberger, but a more athletic and Ben yeah. Roethlisberger. Yeah, so I just think he's just built for that that, that frozen vortex. Um, uh, but Tom Brady is no longer New England, as you can see. So, mm. uh, right. yeah, we got to make it work. All right, next game. Next game was oh, man. Can Steelers we skip this? At Chiefs. Why? Why not? not? No, we can't. Why not. Can skip this. I had a tough week. <laughs> <laughs> I only had two. I only had. I had three L's this week. So, <laughs> where? Where this one? You should have got two L's for this one. Um, <sighs> three L's. Steelers at Chiefs, and you picked the Steelers three. again. Either trust three the Steelers, L's. or you, or you just petty. You pick the Chiefs. 
Maybe a mixture um, of both. We picked the Steelers. We picked the Chiefs. Um, this wasn't even close. They, I don't even know what to say about this one. Thirty-six to ten. Any 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 uh, apologies coming coming our way this week for uh, is, Sir is, Patrick Mahomes? Is, is, is no? my homeboy still who he is? Who you thought he was? Yep, two years, baby. I'm sticking by right. two years. Two years. I'm sticking by it. They obviously figured something out. They obviously, the Chiefs obviously figured something out. Two years. Two years. Two years. Okay. All right. I need All you right. to uh, mark this, Dwayne. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna forget now. I, I, two, two years. Like, uh, two years. I push. I push. I push important information out of my head just to remember stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um. <laughs> Whatever. Two years. Twenty three yeah. of thirty for two hundred and fifty eight yards and three touchdowns. Uh, what percentage is that? About sixty percent. I'm, I'm, I got my calculator open right now. So then one second, Almost seventy. Hold on one second. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. You know, I get it. Three okay. divided by thirty. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's seventy-seven uh, completion rate right there. Wow! Whatever. Wow, that's a ter- terrible game. Terrible game. That's He's gonna cool. fall off. So pedestrian. Off. He's falling off. Uh, Can we get to week seventeen, please? I mean, I get <laughs> it. In the XFL or Canada, uh, Canadian football, the the Argonaut. Twenty. Montreal Argonaut. Twenty. Twenty. Three in 2024 is a long ways from now. Two years. All right. Well, well, well we not going. We not going to wait. 22 because we haven't got to 2022 yet. So you got to. We not. We not. 2023. We're not going. Whatever. We're not going to wait for two years. We going. We going to check them out next week again. So going into week 17 picks, the first one is Chiefs at Bengals. Um, scores real Keith quick. Taylor. I took the lead, thirty six. Ryan took the game. You came up on a game on John. Yeah, at thirty five. Congratulations. So it's, it's thirty six, thirty five, thirty four. <laughs> so we're separated by one game each. That's it. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you. We still got uh, still got a lot a lot more games left, man. A lot more regular season games left. <sighs> so, like I said, the next the first game we're gonna do this week is uh, I had to get my car fixed, man. I ain't got your money this week. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Tony <laughs> taking your car. <laughs> <laughs> you take the car instead. <laughs> take the car. All right, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the car till you get my money. I'm just living the dream. <laughs> you know. So uh, okay. okay, so Chiefs at Bengals. <sighs> I am I am torn, but I am gonna have, go ahead and pick first, and I'm gonna pick the Bengals. I'm not. I don't feel good about it, but I I can't quit the Bengals. It went up to five Bengals. too. Now, it went up to five. Okay, yeah. I don't even know who got COVID. I don't know. So since we're doing the show on Tuesday. We got five more days of these dudes staying home, going wherever, <laughs> not being protected. Uh, so, I mean, who knows what's going to happen. I, I, can, what I think I could count on Mahomes getting getting that before Burrow with his brother really? acting yeah, crazy. Well, Burrow already said ain't nothing to do in Cincinnati, so he said. <laughs> <laughs> I guess since I guess Cincinnati's like Jacksonville. <laughs> like uh, but I'm I'm taking the Bengals. I, I don't feel great about it, but I feel like the Bengals got more to play for and the Chiefs are gonna mm. get the number one seed anyway. All right. So I'm gonna right. go with the Bengals. What you got, Good pick. Good pick. I'm taking the Chiefs. You're going to the Chiefs. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to the Chiefs. Ron? Do you even have to ask? All right. We got Bengals. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. The next one is a team that won't die because they're still in the hunt. Raiders oh, are going man. to the Colts. 
the Colts are favored by seven and a half when I looked at it. Raiders at Colts. Interesting enough, there's no line there. Why isn't there no line there for that? Uh-oh. Whoa. Who got COVID? The quarterback <laughs> got COVID. Damn. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Wentz. That's Wentz. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I just so, reported on so it. Took, so they just took it down. They took the line down. They took when it I down. Look, like I told you guys, I look at it on Monday. I look at I look at them on Monday. Yeah. Now they took that whole line down, so that means nobody can bet on the game right now. They'll have to wait till they put a line up after they get information mm. on the game. So, Woo. are we all taking the Raiders or are we taking the Colts? I want to take the Raiders, but I still think the Colts could beat them with just the Jonathan Taylor. You didn't take the Colts, John? Okay. Yeah, I got the Colts. Yeah, Raiders done Raiders. burned me a couple of times, man. I'm going to go with the Colts. A couple? You take the Colts? Yeah. A couple. <laughs> you right the whole season almost. <laughs> I think the first week they didn't let me off. And they didn't let me down. <laughs> So we can win a game. <laughs> we could have do diddly poo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> grown ass man say diddly poo. One of my on favorite post game rants of all time. Oh man, that a was a classic. Grown ass man said diddly poo on. <laughs> <laughs> diddly. That was the that that was the Peyton Manning cult too. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> early years, like wasn't that like his rookie yeah, year, or f- years. second year, or something? I don't like know that? if it was. I don't know if it was rookie year. It might have been second year. Yeah. Rookie year, he got it. It was late nineties. It was like ninety eight. Mm-hmm. Well, ninety nine, ninety eight. They didn't do anything. It was like ninety nine, two thousand. Coach said he didn't want to cuss right. on the Lord's Day, so. <laughs> <laughs> he could not do diddly diddly poo. Uh, is uh okay. So next game is gonna be. Broncos at Chargers. Wow. The Chargers Whoa. are the worst. They just went over. <laughs> Both teams Damn. still make the playoffs. You're talking about trust issues? Did you mention trust yeah. issues? Yeah, yeah, exactly. These bums went over to Texas <laughs> and got beat. And, right. and Texas. Texas. And they were down about 21 players from COVID, and they still beat them, mm. which is ridiculous. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So, but they, but Broncos and Chargers can still make the playoffs. That's why the game is of, of importance. Um, the line moved to five and a half, Dwayne. It moved to five. <clears> yeah, <throat> I had it at six. Okay, so it moved to five. So Broncos going to Chargers. Um, what do you got, John? I'm gonna take the Chargers. I got the Chargers. I don't feel good about it though. I like you like. I, 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 I'll take the Chargers. Yeah. I'm indifferent. All right. Teddy out, ain't he? What do you with that? Uh, no, Teddy should be back because this would be the second week of his injury. Drew Locke played this weekend, so Teddy should be back this week. Teddy needs to come uh, back. <laughs> yeah, but what kind of condition is he in? That was a hard ass fall. Um, <sighs> man, I tell you what, this is a game that I don't feel good about. But <clears throat> I'm going to go Broncos. I'm going to go Broncos. All right. Oof. All right. The next one should be the game of the week. This is our last game. Oh, man. Car- Cardinals at Cowboys. Damn it. Oof. The Cowboys are favored when I looked. was five and a half. What I got the Cowboys. Got the Cowboys. Yeah, still five and a half. Okay. I got the Cowboys. Okay. Yeah. Now, now here's the thing, and I've been watching it, right? So what's been scary about these picks is, for instance, the Chargers and Broncos. Broncos are three and four away. Chargers are four and four at home. Okay. Um, we picked the um, Chiefs and Bengals. Chiefs four and two and away. Bengals four and four, right? So you get down here to the um, – Cardinals Cowboys is playing at uh, Jerry's World. Cowboys are five and two at home. Cardinals are seven and one away. Mm-hmm. Ten and five and eleven and four. Uh, you know where that one? You know where that one came from? 
which, away? which one was that one? Was that Cardinals? Was that here? Detroit. Detroit. Oh, it Detroit was Detroit. Detroit gave them that one. Detroit beat them. Detroit. Beat them. You know, any other year, we could look at that and go, "Damn, how you let Detroit beat you?" But the way that the games have been going this year, it's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's par for the course. How this year's been going? Detroit averages under 20 points a game. So, by all accounts, that should have been an easy dub for uh, the Cardinals. Yeah, it should have been. They score well over 20 points a game. And Detroit has a hard time getting over 18 points. So, um, that was just one of those outliers. So, I said I wouldn't pick against the Cowboys again. Uh, Cowboys lost last week, right? No, no they destroyed they Washington. Won. Okay, Huge. they're not going to do that again this week. They, I'm going Cardinals. They beat they beat Washington so bad they started a fight on their own. Day. Yeah, that's right. Wasn't uh, like fifty five to twenty or something like that. <laughs> it was fifty something. Yeah. They had fifty four points on that thing. Damn. <laughs> You don't fight with your own team. Oh okay. my God, this one is tough. This one is a tough one to pick, but I, I feel like the Cowboys are rolling and the Cardinals are falling away. This is a desperation week. They need to win this one. The Cardinals, but I don't think they will. So I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. Um, so we got a little bit of time. Um, some ga- some games of note. Just real quick, we're not gonna pick them. Just mm-hmm. put them up there. Browns at Steelers. Both teams could still make the playoffs. Division still on the line. Um, another one game. is real tough game. Yeah, Browns. Browns are favored by three. The dirt, them dirty Rams are going to the Ravens, but I didn't put that one down either because I have no idea who's playing for the Ravens, mm. and most likely the Rams are going to beat them anyway. Yeah. Um, I think John one. Harbaugh has Jim Harbaugh playing this Sunday. <laughs> if he has the time. If he has the time. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Keep him upright. The, the other one was Eagles Washington. That one's a game of no two. The Eagles are rolling and they could pop Is Kurt Warner available for the, for the Ravens? He's got a movie coming out, so he, he should be. <laughs> Hey, the NBA. Listen, if the NBA is doing it, why can't the NFL do it? <laughs> we need you to suit up for ten days. That's ten it. Days. We put Boogie Cousins in, the, in, in as the quarterback for the for the Ravens this week. Is Boogie Cousins available? Oh man, nah, nah. He's playing for um the buck the buck. Hey, I know you um, didn't. I wonder how much a ten day contract is for what for NBA. NBA, yeah. Mm, probably a couple thousand. Probably a couple thousand. It ain't Chuck Chang. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not. I want to, to them it is, but to us it's like, shit, I'll, I'll work a 10 day contract. I mean, right. I will say this, though. Um, one game you didn't mention that I think is going to be an upset alert the Jags and the Patriots. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I forgot. Uh, is no longer there. Right? No way, bro. Okay. There's no, if that happened this weekend, I don't. Want, <laughs> nobody should ask Belichick nothing. <laughs> he gonna be salty. Listen, you better as well get ready for it because oh, I, 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 I think that's gonna upset. Losing Jack to happen. Hot seat. Should he automatically put on the hot seat? Nah, he the that. game the game is in that da- and in Jacksonville, isn't right? It? And their favorite New England's favorite oh. by fifteen and a half. So, I think that uh, yeah, I think that uh, Belichick, uh, yeah, I, I I don't that may be an upset waiting to happen, in my opinion. I, he never loses to rookie quarterbacks. They're not gonna cover the fifteen. Mm. But he never really loses to rookie quarterback. He has this ridiculous record against rookie quarterbacks and second year quarterbacks and guys who are not really good at playing quarterback. So yeah. Uh, but if it happens, man, oof. Yeah. It's gonna be head headlines on Monday. Yeah. So the ten day salary is a hundred and fifty one thousand dollars. Oh. I I'll take that. I'll get on the court for ten yeah. days. Hell. Call my number. Yeah, I'll I'll sit on the bench. <laughs> I'll, I'll hand out Gatorade, towels, hmm. 
uh, I would keep every yeah. seat warm. Ten days. I was tenured, in my seat. I was tenured the and park. NBA veteran will <laughs> wow. earn one hundred and fifty-one thousand dollars for those ten days. Hey, so That's I know, crazy. and I know we don't cover right. the NHL, but uh, just got news that they postponed nine more games all in Canada due to oh, wow. our friend Rona. That's COVID. Mm-hmm. So that's a bad mother right there, boy. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see Fuck a lot. Of, yes, pretty much. <laughs> that, that's what we're gonna be seeing a lot of. Um, you know, a lot of teams are. I, it's I, I believe we're looking at some impacts here for the NFL, NBA, and even college. I mean, I know that we talked about the game for this coming week with um on Friday the championship games, but you know if the coaches can't keep those guys together, I'm sure saving can, but if the other coaches can't keep these guys together, there may be a chance. I don't wish that, you know, because I know these kids want to get out there and play, but man, I tell you what, COVID ain't playing around. And uh, we've seen, I think the holiday bowl was what the second bowl game canceled. Cause they canceled the one in Hawaii. Um, So I don't know, man, still a lot of, well, you just met- games. You just mentioned two places that are really strict on COVID, mm-hmm. Hawaii and Canada, mm-hmm. you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll Hawaii see. Hawaii for obvious reasons, so. Yeah. I can, I yeah. can understand that. Yeah. Well, That's we'll see how that rolls. Wait, is because, John, is it, it was the Hawaii team, right, John? That, that uh, they decided to forego, forfeit the game? I Honestly, I, I really don't know. I don't think it has anything, anything to do with Hawaii as a team. I'm just talking about Hawaii as a, a, at large. Okay. Um, that, that island is just isolated out there. A, yeah. They yeah. have a huge outbreak once again. They they have a, a, a limited um, medical infrastructure mm-hmm. on that island. And an outbreak uh, like the ones that you see in the uh, lower 48, uh, they cannot. They cannot. Uh, withstand that. Yeah, uh, they they have to set up triage units uh, outside of uh, of a structural medical facility, and that would not be enough. So that's one place that could not have an outbreak of COVID. Jeez. Yeah. Hmm. So if I can understand them canceling that football game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, fellas. It seems like we've got a. Interesting week of sports ahead. Hopefully, we're able to watch these games <laughs> without. Um, Let me ask you something. Have you guys been watching the rest of the the other bowl games? Because I really haven't, I haven't really caught any of them because I've been anticipating the playoff uh, football games and maybe some New York Six, uh, excuse me, New Year's Six match matchups. But I really have not been consuming any of these. Uh, other I bowl watched games. the. L- I watched a little of the Florida UCF game. Oh yeah, I did watch that. I did watch a little I bit of that. Of that. I, I take that back. That. I did. Yeah. yeah. I watched a little, but that's still, that still was so long ago. And what was it, a week ago? I don't even remember. Yeah. I just know UCF won them another championship. They yeah. said they won the championship of Florida. I don't. I don't they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, I mean, they say they won the state the state championship. Listen. <laughs> What what team in Florida is performing better than them at this point? You know what I mean. So, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. Yeah, I, I haven't. I know uh, Mississippi State and Texas Tech is playing right now, um, as we're talking. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm with you, John. My interest has been for New Year's Eve. So we will see why they're going to expand the playoff format. I, are are they going to? Has that been confirmed? No, I, I'm, I'm just saying that it, it, it's going to happen. Okay. Eventually it's going to happen. How many they, teams? They've been talking about it. Eight, I think the, last number I heard, the last number I heard was 12. 12 teams? Yeah. The last I think 12 they were talking about was 12. 12 gives you a lot more money. 
It does. And if you go to eight, you're going to end up at 12 anyway. So just what? Just go straight Might to 12. Just go straight to 12. No? Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't mind I the top 12. Too many bums in there if you got 12. You could have some bums, well, perceived bums, but you could also have some uh, uh, potential for upsets because those to- those same teams will be thinking they're bums too, like we are, and boom, going and get knocked out in the first round. It happens. But I think it loses its, its importance if you expand it to to, to that to that end. Mm-hmm. And I think there has to be a sense of urgency to um, do well throughout the year and, and not hope to. Uh, uh, leave things to chance and and, and and roll the dice. Yeah, I think it uh, it diminishes the importance of getting into the playoffs if you expand it to twelve. You're right. I'm not saying that they wouldn't, because you know, cash rules everything around me and everybody else. Get the million dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> yeah, y'all. you're right. Because there wasn't twelve I'm teams. Gonna have. There wasn't twelve teams this year that should be in there. So, but my thing is. I don't like when the little guys complain. So if you wanna, if you wanna, if you don't wanna come get all the complaining from the little guys, let them go in there and get the ass kicked, <laughs> and they will shut up. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Go in there and get get beat down by Bama by forty points. <laughs> get you massacred. Know, you, you got your chance. You know. Yeah. So that's what I would like to see. I don't like they complaining all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, fellas, all right, well, it's been fun enjoyed it we'll see what happens next week hopefully we got some games to report on next week if not hey we'll be reporting on something uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us this God, is the short, <laughs> the short <laughs> this podcast we still like sports COVID okay. is still in the building <laughs> <laughs>